So while not as fun as the real game of football, something that I always enjoyed doing in my pastime was playing some paper football. And all you really need for paper football is a flat surface, a good old piece of paper, and then another person to be able to play with. So let's show you first how to make a paper football, and then we'll go over some of the rules of the game that you can play. So first off, get a flat piece of paper, and what you're going to want to do is fold that paper in half. Then open up the fold and fold each half again in on itself. Then fold it in on itself and make one final long fold just like this. So basically when you were to open it up, it would be folded in force, but now it's all together just in one big piece like this. Then you're going to take an end. I would prefer the end that's closest to you, but you may have a different preference. And you're going to fold it to make it a triangle. So you're going to fold it in on itself and make it a triangle just like this. So it's kind of like looking like a paper airplane, but you'll notice it's at a point. And then you will just fold the football in on itself and go again so once more you've got a triangle going if you've ever folded the american flag before it is the exact same setup as that so, so we've got a little bit left so now i can either do this and then fold this part over and tape it together so it makes this nice little triangle or i can fold this to make a little bit of a triangle of itself and I can tuck it in to my football so that way I don't need any tape at all. Either way, when your football is completed, it should be a triangle looking just like this. Now even if you fold it in on itself, you still may want to end up taping it a little bit and that is totally fine. Then once you're ready to play, you're just gonna kick off. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. Some people like to just slide the football like that and then the next person will pick it up and slide it. The way I like to play it though is by flicking it. And so it moves around just like that and wherever the football ends up, that's where the next person has to try and flick it from. The way you end up scoring is by having the football go to the edge of the table. If any part of the football is over the edge, you then score a touchdown and you get to try for an extra point. Now, even if it's just barely over, the way I like to do it is if your finger comes up and that football moves just a little bit, that counts as a point for the other team or a touchdown for the other team. Then when you're going to kick field goals, you can have it flat, you can have it on its nose, you can have it point up like that, but just have your opponent give a little field goal pose like this, tell them not to move it around, that's cheating. Then kick your football however you like, and hopefully you're able to get it through the uprights for another point, and hopefully you're able to enjoy this game today on our game day.